All right, good afternoon, Twitch. My name is Alloway, and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. I am, as I said last stream, I am going to be uh, taking on this cauldron over here, and I did not forget despite a day of work. Contrary to popular belief, my memory is not that shitty. Is that a rebel? Okay, then. Okay, I don't think that's uh, blaze canister then. What is it? First water. Uh, I don't have anything that shoots that, unfortunately. No! Uh, I remember when this game was easy. Come on, I should still be able to fight this thing, no problem, though. As soon as I can land my shots. a few more arrows than is to be expected, but then again, it's, I can't knock three arrows at once anymore, so it's no surprise that it takes more shots. Is that a shelter? Yes, it's a shelter. We'll take that. in this cauldron. You know, I'm gonna go on a limb and guess that I'm gonna get leap slasher codes from this uh, from this cauldron. It's just a hunch. I don't really have don't really have much uh, in way of um, proof, but as if the earth split open fast. As I said, must have been an earthquake. Just a hunch. Now I'm gonna regret this as soon as I find out that I can't instantly stealth kill these things, but they're fairly small, but so it shouldn't take too much to finish it off. It's falling. I say as it takes half the health in one thing. Ah! I mean, this works. Oh. 
That didn't go. Golden door, but different. No way to hack it open. I'm gonna have to find some other way in. Isn't it convenient that the game tells me exactly where I gotta go to find Stay this the stash. other entrance? I wonder where this could lead. I'm not here. If a slither fan came through here. No, this tunnel gets smaller and smaller, so I think it's just a uh, earthquake thing. this work. Well, it sort of worked. The amount of blood that should be coming out of Aloy's ears. First priority should be to loot all the stuff that's here. Like this tail. There's a hackable thing over there. Gap's too wide. Need to find another way across. I imagine I can't go that way right now. As I said, I can't quite put my finger on like things, but enemies. I've got a hunch.
wait for it. I'm guessing you're going to move over to the side. Jack on that, but with the amount of um, issues this game has, well, not really issues per se, but sometimes the climbing is, a little, as I said before, and many times the climbing can be a little janky. So I take no chances. Now, when the game tells me to back the jack, I back the jack. I feel like I should have come this way before I had to do that main story with Varlin, so. Because here's Aloy monologuing to herself. But then again, she monologues fairly often just to let the player, just in case they're a little forgetful about things they can do. Hey there. Looks like that machine stores fluid in its tower. I wonder what it does with it. Let's see. Who are you? Okay, um I have absolutely nowhere to hide. So Only option I have. Should I kill you in one hit? Like that. And that. Hopefully. Even after playing for the hit. You know? That worked! I'll bet you that's a force field. It is most certainly a force field. That looks like it can get me up to the vent. Oh shit. Oh. At least I only come all the way back down here. Any second. There we go.
Well. <clears throat> Sorry about that. A little bit of, um... Things have to be done. I believe this. I'll override. about to fight a tall neck, am I? I mean, it's just cool. have to the core and get those over it. Well, we'll find out soon enough. If I gotta fight one, I gotta fight one. Not this time. I fought too many of your kind before. Not the people with tremors. You might defeat me with that, though. I'm trying to take off that shell piece. But I got it. Where'd that other piece go? Oh, there it is. I know I needed this for something. Let's 
should even the game uh, acknowledge it by putting in a legendary piece. That Tonic's gonna drop down, I swear to god. Time to get some machine on. Very own Robo Raptor. Absence of any real. Is it? something completely obvious, I can tell. Like that. Facilities must be way older than that of the facilities in Zero Dawn. Seeing as how in all of Zero Dawn, I've never had a ledge on this like crack. Shit! I hear hostiles ahead. I've been detected by a hostile ahead. I mean, hey, if you don't want to come in here. I mean, I get it, red light bad, but Jesus, that was an uplink I'm gonna put an arrow into. So 
I know where I gotta go. But it would be wise for me to wait until the cycle starts over. Like that. percent of purpose for going all the way up top, but they gave it to you, so looks like the only way across is up. Oh no. I would appear the only time for me to go would be right now. Before, ain't it great that the lifestyle these people live it was enough to help them traverse deadly shit like this? That's why the cauldron won't release the toll neck at the core. It's missing its head. That's not gonna work, so... I didn't even realize there was two of them. Alright, bit off more than I can shoot. Double. <sighs> See, this is why they try to tell you in the first game, you gotta be weary. Please checkpoint in that room. After all of that, I die to gravity. Well, not even to gravity. I died because I jumped into a fucking... Alright, cool. This all the machines then. I wonder how many playtesters fell in there by accident at one point it's where they put a check on the right there.
I get every time I go into a culture like this, I get like the vibes of um Uh oh. Company Of um Oh, that's fair. I don't know. Okay, um... I don't want to tussle with that uh, shell walker. I think I can hear the head being repaired. I didn't. I didn't like fighting shell walkers in the first game, but at least they handed me a decent amount of um, terror blast arrows for my issues. It's in place. The guy's fixed. Arms keep it in place. Maybe if I override the tonic, the shockwave will break it free. Or you'll fry this cauldron and put it out, take it out of commission for good. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. pipe. <coughs> oh, that looks cool. It worked. <coughs> that is so cool. Share again. You wasn't too bad either. So how much of this map did I just reveal? Oh. Well. That's cool. Is that another cauldron? That looks like another cauldron. All right, well, I've got a couple of question marks along my route, so I want to head there. Will this thing walk? Or is this thing going to walk? And that is a pretty sight. Okay. Certainly took me further along than repelling off that thing. Thunder draw site over yonder. <laughs> Stash this away for later. Now, with my skills the way they are, it might be high time that I looked into. <laughs> well, looking at that, that work.
little bit of extra damage to my heavy weapons. I guess. But with more overrides available. I do want to be able to keep them on my side a little while longer. I guess I'll just pour some points down this side. Unfortunately, none of these skills seem to really work out for me. I'll use this one. There we go. That tree looks weird as hell, but um, at the very least, I have. Wait, there's another thing down here. I guess I got points to spare. I guess the next time I'll look into my trapper skills. Ah, uh, that that would be useful. Yeah, but none of these really uh, appeal to me. <laughs> Yeah, Trapper doesn't really work for me because, well, I don't really use traps. And since my trap limits are pretty low already, there's even less of an incentive for me to use them. But, you know how I've been doing so far. I'll just build up a boatload of skill points and then just, uh, like, impulse buy a bunch of freaking skills down any random tree. So, I will continue with that. Those are rebels. Alright, um, you know, a place to hide would be nice. down that way.
need to check something. You there! Well, that happened. Alarm! Alarm! Enough of that. Got her. See, I'm not the only one who saw a fucking strike from above up here, right? I'm not giving up. I don't like company. <laughs> hey man, I am completely cool with just hanging down here. You want to go fight those things? By all means. So I needed something from Plowhorns. Which is what? I'll bet you it's the horn. Destroy it when killed. Key upgrade resource. Destroy it when killed. Yeah, I'll wager it's probably the horn. If I could actually hit a target when it's moving like that, that'd be great. so bad after all. I don't remember what I needed their pieces for, but there. I'm glad I got them. another one.
Yeah, turn around, buddy. So I can cut off your horns. You know, in hindsight, these things aren't actually that bad to fight. That's it, I have a weapon that might just be a little bit um, busted, considering all the perks I dumped into it. So there's a gorge over there. I don't want to run the risk, because I probably don't know, but normally if I didn't have what I need, the game would tell me. So, maybe I could go explore that. But, not going to. Got more pressing matters. You know, there's the to knock the village flooded. Maybe from a recent storm. Wonder if anyone made it out. Let's check around the shore. Ugh. The water feels. Can anyone thick. hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken room next to it. Well, that's where all they are. That's where this one is. I'll ship it out as I go. And that looks to be. Uh, uh. to get to the top. I wonder if I can... Should be able to cross over to the survivors from there. No, I think I have to do it from the inside. I don't know what served purpose that served, but... It's like a sonar ability. A uh, different sound when you're underwater. That's cool! I never noticed that. Granted, I didn't really ping when I'm underwater very often. Um, I could clearly <coughs> grab onto that. Um, I don't know what question is. Where, how am I supposed to... Do it. There's the ladder on the other building. I can make that jump. 
Okay. Looks like it's stuck. Maybe I can use my weight to make it drop. What am I supposed to do? Jump on it. No! That was our only way out. That's not your only way Everyone out. Okay. You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. <laughs> That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? Before we ran in here, I thought I saw a few of our comrades climbing up a watchtower on the north side, near the grotto. I'll look into it. Can you make it to the shore from here? If you find us a way out, we'll make it. Okay. Sit tight, for now. Okay. I think this might just be a way back to that. Uh, oh, no, not. Sure, in a moment. Okay. Better find this watchtower on the north end. Yeah, but I want to grab this loot while we're here, Aloy, and I realize something now. stuck in the water I need to climb up there but now I should definitely be able to make this jump which will then allow me to jump onto this ladder which surprisingly didn't fall off and then That's a problem, seeing as how my health is very low, but as dumb a plan as this is going to be, I do want to try getting some stealth kills off. Well, certainly work out better. Hey, Outlander! These machines got us trapped up here. We lost our weapons in the mudslide. Sit tight. I'll take care of them. Those boulders. Break the support beam, crush the machines. 
Yeah, or you know. You get a lot of health back when you do that. Can I override stat mods or is that corrupted? Partially unlocked. Son of a bitch. Okay. Uh. What about you? Where do you go? I should have been tough out the cold. Frost won't help. You get into a better position to take out the, those burrowers. One less headache to solve, followed by... Well, I'll also be um, full health before this fight starts. And not enough. Crush him with the boulders. Shoot the support beam. I'm working on it. I'm on patience. Y'all are standing over there already. Where does this thing end up walking? That snap moths are as fast under the water as they are on land. Investigate that noise. Well, okay, let's try that with the other trap that's right next to me. And it's just a higher chance of killing me as there is. No, what if he wants to investigate that? Yeah. What was that noise? It's probably a rock. That thing survived? Okay. What do I have on this thing that's potentially... Chill Water Gullet. One hit from a purge water arrow will burst that. Alright, so that's my... An ability to shoot at work.
Well, I figured that wasn't gonna work. I can keep going. Should be safe it's not now. We're coming down. I mean Ah, you showed those machines. I don't know what the hell. You're gonna have to give me a minute while I grab all the loot in the area. At least those I care about. Okay. Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap moths prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. We'll head for the shore on the other side to regroup. Thanks again. Survivors, not over there. Let's get it. Did not mean to dive. Sounds like somebody needs medical attention. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. There. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. I'm just passing through. What was this place? Bleeding Mark. The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. I hear we have you to thank for getting these soldiers to safety. But there are others still missing, and I need to keep watch here. Then I'll take another look around. If I find anyone else, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And if you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, tell him... Tell him I'm here. Figure something out. I need to find a way for the Tanakhs to get down from the cliff. That big crane could help. If I can get it into the right position, I could make a bridge for them. I almost blocking the cliff. I must be stuck on something else. My focus can help me search. Sorry about that, I'm just a little hungry. On top of that, I've got a bunch of these, like, snack sticks here, which is gonna go bad if I don't eat them in a the timely matter. You can get away with, um...
I wonder if that'll work. Okay, crane's in place. Now, how to lower it to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. There's a way to move it. Well. Looks like there's something weighing the arm down. There. If I pull out that beam, it should remove the counterweight and lower the arm. I don't think I can pull the beam from here. I have to get up higher. Well, luckily for me, there's a tower here. Which I almost fell off of. There we go. Oh, damn it. Arm stuck on something. I better climb up and take a look. I could have dived there, oh, damn it. That's something I forget to do as well. Those cables. The arms should drop the rest of the way. This thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear. Blood of the Ten. How'd you manage to do that? How'd y'all manage to get up here? <laughs> This'll be in my stash when I need I don't know how you did it. But thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it. But he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. But by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the ten. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. Thanks again, Outlander. Okay. I think that's it for survivors. I didn't see Ken talk about them. I should head back to Natika. For now. I know. All the things, all the things that are kill, fine, physically fit soldiers is gotta be nature or cowards. We have to search. We will. But you will lie back. Rest now, Aloy. Thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the chief's guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakht are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to a squad. He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself? Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place, rather than fulfilling a greater purpose for the Chief's Guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. But like the Marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the grove? The chief himself. 
Don't really see how. So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. <laughs> this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. But for all this water, we still rely on the capital for our supply. Why is that? This water is poisoned by ash blood. Undrinkable as machine oil. What's ash blood? It's a red stone we gather. Our inker and scalding spear turns it into a pigment for the marks on our skin. In exchange, we get water. Every village in the clan trades with the capital for it. Food, machine parts. For us, it's ash blood. It's not exactly an exciting trade. I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see? Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come, I'll show you. Natika, we need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers close to the drift out. Ah. Duty above all else. The plant makes water deadly, and yet they use it for tattoos. Okay. It must be the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot yeah. of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe it's something stuffed in there. I'm gonna have to clear some of it to get inside. Okay, let's see where this leads. Wow. Take it easy. You must be Kim Talk. Oh. There's an outlet there, no mind name. Natika sent me to find you. The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so, he made it. Good. And... Natika... She came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. <sighs> it was... My mistake... To... Deny her discharge. A soldier... Is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. Leave me. No, you're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out. It's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in from the surface, but not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it and open it up, you might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here.
New waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. Yeah, you know, if Ayla hadn't said something immediately, I would have said damn straight she is. I sincerely hope that I aren't, wasn't supposed to be breaking barrels like that this whole time. God, that would be one of like... If that's a trophy, one, that's gonna suck because I'm gonna definitely be doing a guide on that. But two... Do I can move it just... Yeah. Come on. Pull that out too, then. Gee. What? I was further back. There we go. Right, that didn't happen. At least it's on something that floats. Come on, you're making one. You're making me look like an idiot, and two. You're making yourself look like an idiot. The phrase, God damn it, doesn't fucking, uh. suffice. Convenient that he's not completely standing underneath that or laying underneath that. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Got a fire oh. source. Now I got a bowl of cherries to content with. Not a bowl of plate. That's well, but my stash has room.
Water's coming in from there. I can use the fire gleam to break open that wall. And this the place should flood. The black camp axon should float right up to the top. So maybe it's a good idea to run. You're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Lady Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done... I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. With full soldier's honors. Aloy, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. Oh, that's an armor. Wait, yeah. It's not bad. At least the color scheme fits with the face paint. All right. Now, with all that said and done, what is happening here? I don't know, but I do want to head to this cauldron here. Since I see that now. Oh my god, the cherries. They are also an irritant to my throat. Which I'm not 100% surprised since... A fun fact about cherries... Everything but the fruit itself is poisonous. Including the seeds. Don't eat the seeds. Now, how the hell am I going to get to that? Oh, it's a run around. It looks like a cauldron, but it's offline. Seems like it has some kind of ritual importance to the Tanakh. Ah. Well, let's see what's in there then. Huh? 
down one Aloy in the next. They're not giving a thought to how she was ever gonna make it back out. And I don't think that's the quote I'm I just butchered it. Sorry. Hold on a minute. They just, well, they just delivered me straight into the, um, part of it, but there's no way to power this. I can grab this from my stash later. Okay. Huh? Let's see. See what's behind the giant gaping hole in the wall. A dead end is what that is. I have an idea. That didn't work. All right, let's try the. I'm not getting out the way I came in. There must be an exit somewhere. Let's try through here. While the facility is still getting light, it still has power. <coughs> Made it. That was a long climb. Wait. So, well, I guess because there's no power here, I can't really do anything about it, but. Okay. Okay. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But I do want to go see Talana, so... So I'm going to change that quest as a, one of the many quests that... Let's just go. Do I really want to be taking this straight way through? Well, I ran over a couple of things. Right into a herd of hostiles.
At least there are. Yeah, you know what's bad? I have no ammunition. Come by this way later. I swear. That is a lovely shot. Just saying. Around Camp Talon and I were trying to find should be around here. Smoke. Could be from the camp. Maybe I should check it out. Some kind of boss room camp? How'd they end up out here? Thanks for putting us all back to work, Savior. Camp nowhere. Talana. Glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage. Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Osiram knocking at your door. And you are? This is Ragger. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called the rot. And what did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thorn Marsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but he was dead set on going. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. 
But you best talk to Porgov about that. He knows a bit more than I do. Did Amadis say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. Hmm. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south, we've got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. There are more of you? They're the ones we followed out here in the first place. And then there are all the other folk who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine, I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. <laughs> Looks like we have company. Why not rest for a moment? I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit these days. <coughs> Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful of. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. Spotted one just west of here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. They even set up camp in the south. Really helps a fellow sleep at night. Just make sure you steer clear of them. Right. Those rebels are bad business. I'll keep an eye out for them while I'm out here. Are you lost? Spark to steal. Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. <laughs> the savior. My savior. Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman, chief delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine <laughs> delvewares. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel, a passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after, but days later only one man turned up. Shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body. One of your delvers, I guess, but no sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the delve until they're assured a way out of here. You lost half your crew, and you're worried about the Delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, maybe our sand-stranded days are over. Help <laughs> me get that tunnel reopened, and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? How did you learn about this secret tunnel? The art of the Delve, of course. A Delver's only as good as his no sense for good sights. All right, fine. I heard about three Osram who knew a way to bypass those bloodthirsty Tanakh. Tap the untouched delves of the West. So then I may have employed someone with the know-how for finding and following. A spy. Look, if the rumors are true, there's enough delving to employ a dozen operations. But someone has to take the first plunge, establish a base camp, set up a reliable supply route, guard the site against machines. Figures the Osram would turn sand into shards, I guess. Exactly. 
Your base camp sucks. You can see machines over the horizon. What's stopping them from charging down this way and killing all y'all in your sleep? So this camp, it's your base of operations? What operations? The plan was to move further south once the rest of the expedition joined us. The delve is right out beyond those dunes. But now the crew refuses to budge until this tunnel mess gets sorted out. They've even given this place a name. Camp Nowhere. I think they're mocking me. Yeah. I think they are. I think this is a reference to Cur reference to Courage the Cowardly Dog. But I have yet to see anything else that proves that theory. And I'm not joking this time. I mean, I legitimately... All I hear is nowhere. I keep thinking of Courage the Cowardly Dog. But... I think they literally just call it Camp Nowhere for shits and giggles. No what reference. What do you know about this area? Well, north of here you got those vicious Tanakh. I heard rumor they drink blood instead of water. That's how they survive this wasteland. And south, it has it all. Death, desert, and the delve. Imagine, if you will, a vast grave of the old ones. Ruins of twisted metal concealed by the sands. All guarded by machines. So fierce that you'll wish you had a flock of glint hawks swooping down on you instead. Not even the Tanakh venture into the ruins' depths. Only the bravest explorers dare enter. Like yourself? Of course. Eventually. I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. Ha <laughs> ha! My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand-carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, Still Flame. All right. What do you have for me, friend? That girl was wound up tighter than a twisted spring. She didn't have to hit me. Well, she didn't like you going through her parcels. She warned you. Twice. I was just curious, is all. There's a lot of odd gear in there. Well, thanks to you, she bolted like a hare on fire. Now she's in the wild, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? I forgot her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. Yeah, why do I get the feeling you tried to hit on her a couple of times? Those bristlebacks. Well, those are bristle backs. This is my controller needing to be charged. There we go. You'd think I play games so often I'd be able to do that without looking. Alright. I'm also not too far away from the tall neck. Is there a campfire? Yes, there is. Alright. To the tall neck. That's a tornado of sand. I wonder. You know what? I just realized I can't deploy my freaking, um. Uh, glider from the ground, so I can't turn. Like awesome in here. It must be the crew I heard about. But I'm tracking the tall neck. What are they up to? That doesn't look good. I should check it out. Only on me. It's all to my stash. What the actual hell happened here? Is 
machine truck is. Looks like the officer used some kind of harpoon to take this machine down. They must have attacked the camp. Maybe my focus can help me figure out why. Well, hold on a minute. If they took it down, why is everybody dead? These also are more killed by machines. So the one they took down wasn't alone. Ah. Let me answer that question. These are tall neck antennas. The Osra must have stripped them somehow. Huh. My guess would be. A harpoon weapon. With anchors? Were they? They were trying to take down that tall neck. So the Osra wanted to weigh down that tall neck and strip it for parts. Machines must have caught them in the act. I wish there was a way to climb up and inspect the damage. Unless I take down the tonic myself and try to repair it on the ground. It'll be pretty, but I still get fixed. Must have set up other ballistas in the area. I just gotta find them. I still don't have the means to make better arrows. I don't know what I need those for, but hold on. There are a lot of machines moving in now. There's I don't... probably other anchors set up in the area. I need to find them. Use them to take down that tall neck. Definitely other machines in the area. Son of a <laughs> We traded. <laughs> yeah. Like machines got to this one too. Kidding me. You see, this is why I spam heal, but then at the same time, it's not like Zero Dawn where I had a pouch that just filled. I'm constantly wasting like an entire heal. Let's try this shit again, huh? Attention of more machines. Oh, that could be a problem.
There's probably other anchors set up in the area. I need to find them. Who's that to take down the tank? Looks like the shaman's got to this one too. I had the prompt for our strike, but another ballista. And it's got one of the anchors I need. I'll have to hook an anchor to the weak spots in its armor to weigh it down. Machines won't let up. Oh, they won't. Okay, better. Not so much for that idea. Did I get the explosion at least? Guess I don't. I dodged the wrong way to catch that. Well, this is a rather interesting position I've found myself in. Okay. That weapon still has an anchor. Let's use it. Well, this ought to be fun. Can I touch the same weak spot? One more way down. Machines. I need to hurry. I'm already attached me from here. I need to look for more in the area. Okay. So now I got attached to the leg, which is probably one of the hardest. Is that a freaking. I do not have time for you. Thank you. 
Another ballista. It's got one of the anchors I need. Come on, one more shot. One more shot. Is this the only one I have? Left? I only have that one left. I fired this one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I guess I'm stuck gonna wait on this one until. It just circles back around. Oh, no arrow, no arrows. Okay. So now I wait. Stay on target. Stay on target. This is, a, this is an amazing shot why I'm taking this. Elizabeth Sobek. Lot of skill points from that as well. Okay. So, what do I have here? Lord Almighty. There's a contract there. I'll bet you there's another one somewhere nearby. Alright. Um. I still can't access that cauldron. Um, well, with this here, I guess I can hit this tunnel here and then cut the stream. Where am I headed? Oh, back there. Alright, gotta go. I gotta remember this. I am also glad that this time around it fries machines outright. That's cool. It makes sense. A discharge like that I'll stash this away for later. Shouldn't be big enough to frickin'.
It's funny because I was shooting all those arrows, they'll probably land in somewhere in the camp and they'll be like, We're under attack! There's the entrance to the tunnel Corbett mentioned. I need to find his missing expedition and clear a path back east. Tunnel's blocked. And no sign of the missing expedition. I need to find a way to get further in. Should be able to blow up that fire gleam. Yeah, and I can see it now. There's someone still alive in here. Terror in the dark. The world shuddered. A machine? Never got a look. The caravan. <sighs> we all ran. Everything collapsed. Crawled here. Couldn't escape. Did anyone make it out? Didn't find the first caravan. Yes. Someone did. Good. At least I'm not alone. Rest easy now. Sounds like something big attacked the missing expedition. I better press on. To slow their fang, it's gonna suck. I didn't know that was an option. Oh, that's the um, luggage compartment in, uh, in one of those, like, Greyhound buses. places to hide. Somebody's moving himself. Alright. Let's roll with this. Okay, Lord, please climb up there. using these things are fucking wow mm. machine's calling back up
Shut up, please. didn't work out quite like I planned. <sighs> that Oswald. She said they were attacked by some kind of terror. I don't think it was those powers. Is it either gonna be a Slither Fang or a Rock Breaker? Or some other tunneling machine that I don't know about. I need volatile sludge for that. God, I need to upgrade that quiver and I need to upgrade. Yeah, I need volatile sludge for this. I need to upgrade that quiver. Because I have the means to make as many arrows as I could potentially need, but. Which one's the way out? So I can at least... Okay. I should be able to clear that rubble with my pole caster. That shadow looked ominous. Don't actually like be a time collapse. I'm stuck in the terrain. I swear to God, please checkpoint. All right, that works. Sounds like it's coming from further. Better get out of here quick. Looks like it lets out ahead. Rock breaker. I must have attacked the officer on the sail of passing through. Oh. 
Wait, no, I didn't want this. I'm glad this truck still works. Yeah, you have no idea where I am, do you? system. That shouldn't have fucking hit me though. Sir must have entered the canyon on the eastern side. I better take a look. Find some mustache later. So I managed to disconnect like three rock breaker claws. Those carts must be the supplies the second crew was supposed to bring over. Porgif said his lockbox was supposed to be among them. Porgif. I should probably have this quest track, shouldn't I? Slot box. 
I should take it back to him. That wall looks like it came down when the rock breaker attacked. I must have trapped the house room in the canyon. The rest must have run into the western tunnel. Gonna get to the other side. I should be able to blow up hitting those blaze barrels with fire ammo. Should do the trick. Well. What about explosive ammo? The way out. The tunnel should be clear now. I better let Porgif know. I still don't know the code for this. Um, it's probably one of the notes that I picked up here. I just wish I had. Honestly, I could also just look it up. And I think I'm going to do that. Where's my phone? Somewhere this mess behind me, that's for sure. Unfortunately. Where is my phone? Oh, it's over here. I don't know where I'm supposed to get it from. So. But, what tunnel is this? This is... Spine break... Door coat. Ah, somebody had the same idea. Yep, it was in one of the data notes that I picked up, but I didn't bother reading. Got it. Bunch of Osram supplies. And a dead end. There we go. <laughs> Tell me there's a campfire in this ravine somewhere. No, there isn't. Can I at least call my strider here? Yes, I can. Cool. How much are you going to serve me? I don't know. But... Looks like I could climb up that cliff. Maybe a shortcut over the mountain. Uh, I guess we can roll with that. Press the wrong button. Almost just hurt myself severely.
looks full, but my stash has room. I am certainly glad that um that worked out. The source of that signal must be close. What signal? Also, shit, there was a black box in there. I wasn't there. Shit. Yeah, I know I'm running head first right back into the other, to the fucking... Jumping around. Somewhere around here is a black box, and I want to get it. I'll just use a fast travel pack to get to the, um, back to the settlement, since I literally just ran right this. back to where I started. What's up, Minecraft? Yes, I'm streaming. Yeah, I'll ask you later. All right. What? what he just said I think I'm back in no man's land it'll be easier to go back and forth <laughs> the 
this easy. Oh, uh, again, that's a pretty vision. A pretty view. Vision. You know, I'm gonna be really mad if it turns out I came all the way out here and I can't even get the, uh... Where the hell is it? I know it's under the water. Oh, that doesn't make it any harder. I don't think it's possible for me to get this. Which means I need for to come back after I get. Um, I'm guessing I need Poseidon in order to freaking um, go underwater. Cause it makes sense. Poseidon is the god of the seas, so naturally, deep diving underwater. And I imagine Demeter is gonna be how I access all of the. Um, Metal flowers. Which also makes sense why you saw them. But, no, it doesn't make sense why now I need a code for them. Or otherwise something for them. It is what it is, though. Let's see. So, if we add all the days lost to being stuck in camp nowhere, and throw in some hazard pay, because no doubt the crew will demand it, but reduce the number of the crew by half. Oh, and can't forget the Savior's Delvin fees. Huh. Might just break even. And once the Delves up and running, the shards will come pouring your back. How's that tunnel looking? I found the rest of your crew. One of them was still alive. For a while, anyway. Turns out a rock breaker attacked them as they were making their way through. Poor Saz. Many roads lead to Adelva's end, but that's got to be one of the worst. Well, I took care of the rock breaker. The way's clear now. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you could do it. And uh, you didn't happen to find my lockbox now, did you? Here you go. Spark in the dark. Is there nothing you can't do? Probably can't out drink you. Here, your fee as promised. Now that the threat's gone, I'll have the tunnel shored up and cleared out. Then I can send for another crew, get this expedition going proper like. Ha! Ah, onwards to the delve! Please tread carefully around here, Red. The 
Canucks are out there, and I don't think they're got something there. you want to hear, Red. I mean, I guess I'll sit listen to this. You might want to avoid going too deep into the desert, especially the southwest. One of our scouts ran into some nasty Tanakh down there, the kind that contain machines. He barely made it back alive. Thanks for letting me know. Sounds like the rebels are as friendly as ever. Okay, so what time is it? It's six o'clock. I expect to uh, probably be called away soon enough. So for now, I accomplished a couple of things. Not a whole lot, of course. I should really hit this. Where was, what's her name? Okay, that's where Talana is, and that's where Decker is, and I guess I could head that way later. There's another cauldron there. Another tall neck. Alright, so it seems like I know what I'm gonna do. Get the straight shot runner that right way. Do this quest. Help Talana. I don't know what this is, but hey, maybe hit that too while I'm in there, but. And maybe get the cauldron. But for now, Twitch, I'm going to cut it here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, tell your friends. This, this has been Alloy. Signing off.